guys and welcome to another video episode on how you fix it. And for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix your Boya microphone to work with your laptop and your cell phone. So I just bought this uh, Boya microphone from Lazada for a couple of pesos and I thought that this will not going to work anymore with my with my laptop but for the phone it's it's work fine but for the laptop or using your V8 sound card I'm going to show you that later on how to set up everything to work it fine and have a good recording voice on your software while working on it okay let's do this so I have here my V8 sound card and you need to be familiar with the interfaces at the back of this V800. We have the Live 1, Live 2, and we have the Accompany instrument together with the charging. If you would like to charge the, the whole system uh, using the uh, normal charger. And we have the earphone speaker, headset, and condenser mic, and together with the dy dynamic mic. You need to be familiar of the functions of this uh, interface so that you will not be encountering any issues whenever you connect this to your laptop or your computer. For the live one, you need to connect this to your cell phone if you would like to have uh, something like uh, a recording using your phone, you, you can use the live one and live two. If you have instruments, you can also connect to a company instrument. And for the charging, this is the port that I'm using to connect to my laptop in order for me to record the uh, my voices using this V8 sound card and for the speaker earphone and the headset and condenser mic of course the condenser mic used for for putting your your microphone to this port and if you're going to use uh, a Boya or Lavalier microphone you need to plug into the headset port of this interface at the back of the V8 sound card why because the pin connections of the the Boya microphone, if you're going to take a look at the pins, it's TRRS, meaning it's a tip, ring, ring, and sleeve. It's a poor pole uh, a pin. While the normal headset, you, you can see that my headset has three poles. The tip, the ring, and the sleeve so it's a tip ring sleeve or TRS while the Boya microphone is a TRRS which means this is a combined audio and uh, output sound in one cable however this Boya microphone is just only a regular microphone so but the pole itself it's a tip ring ring sleeve it's a TRRS which only works for uh, a headset so you need to connect this pin at the back of the V8 sound card labeled headset because once you put this to a normal uh, condenser mic it will not work so you need to plug it into headset because it's a TRRS pin so you need to put in the headset and then after that go and test it let's try to do this okay but before I forget you need to put the a cable to the charger port and then connect it to one of the USB port of your computer or laptop okay it's going to work so this is the BA sound card and Let's going to connect uh, the cable like a normal uh, cable charger of the phone going to the uh, uh, charger port, uh, the charging port of the V8 sound card. And and we have the uh, the Boya microphone or the Lavalier lapel mic. Like I said earlier, it should be connected to the uh, headset because of the four pin or the four uh, four pole or tip ring ring and sleeve. 
So we're going to put this on the uh, headset port of the B8 sound card. And then the charger cable going directly to one of the USB port of your of your laptop. There you go. And after that, you'll notice that the uh, power light indicator will light on uh, to red, meaning it's charging. And once you push this uh, button to turn it on, uh, press it and then uh, release it, press and hold and release it. As you notice that uh, the color turns to uh, blue and red, meaning it's turned on and charging. Press this for the uh, MC button, and I think it's uh, properly uh, set up. And let's see if it will work. But don't forget to. Uh, Put some configurations on your Windows or your computer in order for this uh, V800 will work. All right, let's let's see it. So after everything is in place, especially the cables of your V8 sound card, so it goes this way. The charger uh, cable goes to the charging port, and the Boya microphone goes into the headset. All right, so once everything's in place we're going to test the uh, configuration within your your uh, computer so you need to go to the uh, sound settings just simply on the lower right hand screen of your computer right click and then open the sound settings once you have this settings open all you need to do is just to, to check if the uh, input this is actually the most important part of your settings Input should be selected as a microphone MB USB audio as this is the uh, source of the input of the microphone. For your output, it's your choice whether to select the uh, V8 sound card or the speaker. So for, for the meantime, I'm going to select speaker so, so that you can hear the, uh, the sound output later on uh, once we uh, capture any, any voice recording. And since it is in place, we're going to uh, open our recording software, which is uh, using the Cool Edit Pro as my source for recording uh, or editing music and, and, and audio. So let's see if this is actually working. So I'm going to press the, direct, the record button to check if uh, this is working. So I guess uh, the indicator of the sound is actually rolling. And as you can see, we have a waveform created within the, uh, the track of the uh, uh, editor and I'm going to uh, take off my uh, microphone it's actually uh, attached to my collar right now here it is so I'm going to tap it so that you can you can hear that this is actually working you can see the indicator is actually moving left to right okay and Let's uh, going to push one of the effects. Pause. Coming out. Uh, once we play that later on, you can hear. <laughs> yes, uh, everything is in place. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, uh, play it one more time so that you can hear it. So I'm going to stop this. It's going to play it. Okay. To check if uh, this is working. So I guess uh, the indicator of the sound is actually rolling. And as you can see, we so have that's my a voice. Form created within the uh, the track of the uh, uh, editor. And I'm going to uh, take off my uh, microphone. It's actually uh, attached to my collar right now. Here it is. So I'm going to tap it so that you can you can hear that this is actually working. As you can hear that, if I'm going to uh, push away the uh, I'm going to push away the the microphone, I'm going to push away the microphone. Uh, my voice is actually fading. Moving. Uh, 
just like this one. There you go. Once you play that later on, you can hear. <laughs> yes, uh, everything's in place. Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, play it one more time. Okay, I guess uh, the, the microphone is actually working. Uh, working. Okay, going to. Uh, 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 put this away from my mouth see if the recording will still uh, you know fade sound check sound check there you go okay uh, let's try to uh, put that in the recording let's see Sound check, sound check, sound check, sound check, sound check. Sound check, sound check, 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 check. There you go. So, the only thing that you can always remember that you need to put your Boya or Lavalier microphone into the headset port of the V800 and configure the sound settings within your computer. And there you go. It will work right away. All right. If you find the video more helpful, please like us and share and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get updated.